As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days, it's difficult to say which side pulled the trigger first. Arugia deployed an automatic intercept system with drones. Osea implemented long-range attacks to bypass them. So Arugia decided to sabotage Osea's communications and navigation technology. Arugia couldn't launch a satellite themselves, but they were still able to hack the software of the Osean transmission and navigation systems. Before Osea even noticed, half of their satellites were hijacked. That's when things got ugly. In an attempt to knock out each other's capabilities, both forces launched fighters loaded with anti-satellite missiles at the same time. Only military satellites were targeted. However, their destruction created a debris field in orbit which wiped out scores of other satellites, both private and government owned. What kept the world relatively sane up to that point had been free-flowing data and information. But now, those were gone. All that remained was chaos and confusion. Government and civilian broadcasts and transmissions were cut off. The flow of information had ceased. Forces on both sides of the conflict now found themselves unable to communicate with their superiors. Many of the smaller countries annexed by Arugia and yearning for their independence seized the opportunity and started their own uprisings. As for why some of Osea's military decided to break off from the main force and continue on their own, I have no idea. Perhaps there was some sort of dispute over the chain of command. The continent that had once seen wars that were only fought between Osea and Rugia was now full of numerous conflicts between rival leaders vying for power. Insurgencies were everywhere. I even heard a rumor that a group of Osean convicts had rebelled. Rumors. It never ceased to amaze me that even at a crazy time like this, something as trivial as a rumor could find its way here. Communications from corporate were cut off. Apparently, the entire computer network was down. It was a wise decision to make our drones autonomous with AI instead of being radio controlled. Wise and forward thinking. Hmm, I don't know Even about with that. Their GPS offline, they can still use their sensors to navigate as long as they're working properly. I'm sure the drones are still working perfectly, following their mission orders to the letter. I wish I could upload Mihai's new data to them, but without a connection, I can't upload the software to the active drones. The new ones we're making, though, there should still be enough time to upgrade those before they're activated. I'll be taking the data I've acquired away from the front lines now. Oh, and I'll be taking the girls too. I told my assistant Masa it was time to get Mihai's granddaughters ready to leave here. She's not much older than the girls, but she has a way about her, and I'm sure she won't have any trouble with them. And yeah, that was a translation error. That Masa is actually Martha. I saw a plane flying off in the distance. Which is supposed to be Yoko I from Ace Combat 3. A safer place. The plane had a rose emblem on it. I mean, Martha or something else? I mean, yeah, I, I mean, it is Yoko. That's how this game build the connection with the game and other few things here and there as well. Arusia's communication networks have been down since their satellites were destroyed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing trouble too. All of Yuzia has been affected, and we don't know when things will be back up and running. We're not even sure if this is Arusia's doing. Still, we will follow the strategy that was originally planned and move on to the next operation after liberating Farbanti. Let's get to it. Since the war began, we've been receiving communications in secret from an officer in the Erusian army. With the capital under our control, Erusia's radical element is losing support quickly, affecting the balance of power. HQ is thinking of using the military officer as a way to gain leverage to settle peace negotiations. The officer is currently hiding in the outskirts of Anchorhead Bay, having joined up with support dispatch from the Osean army. The plan is that they'll take a standard vehicle to a rendezvous point at a harbor in the east part of the city, where a helicopter will be waiting. 
I would like the new Strider Squadron to provide escort for the officer. Cyclops will remain at the base on standby to serve as defense. With the communication network currently down in the capital, I very much doubt Arusia will be able to mount a regimented counterattack. However, it is likely that Arusia's intelligence department and the remaining forces who are aware of the officer's movements will interfere. Keep a close eye on the officer and make sure he stays safe. Our victory in Farbanti has given us a golden opportunity to finally end this war. Be safe out there. Take note that our satellite-based IFF has become unreliable following the recent communications failure. As such, target ID will be done by processing the images from the infrared cameras on your aircraft. Objects will initially appear as unknown on your HUDs, but will be ID'd once you close in on them for a set period of time. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be doing a lot of these. Uh, I think I can buy, I can buy the Raptor, but I don't think I'll use it right now. Probably starting on the next mission or something. With qualms, with this, I'll just buy this for safe. What else can I buy just for the, uh, you know, I'm already here and all. One of the news, that's your 34, uh, that's your 37? The seven? I'm fine what I have, I guess. See you something. Well, the music really does change the mood of things, doesn't it? I have the MiG-29, I have used it once. A 14D. This again? Actually, this one, yeah, I, I bought this one. I haven't used it, okay. SLDs, whatever. Just keep it here. You don't really need to be super mobile in this mission, right? You don't really, you only do dogfight at the, the later. Part of the mission and all, it's not really... Uh, role stability, I guess, and... Uh, well, the usual... Uh, flight speed, load limit... Not re don't really need to hold me for this. I'm only gonna use this once, so I'm just gonna put the stuff that I really want in here. Which is like, not flight speed. I think I'm gonna need y'all, because you're gonna be doing a lot of that, yeah. Just for this mission? Strider Squadron, you're I don't need it for to, for it to be at its full performance and all. Oh yeah, this music, this mission is the unidentified OCN different. Craft. This is Captain Carl of the Ocean Army. Are you here for the escort? You're not the squadron I was expecting. Are you really friendly? It's over. This is Longcaster. Airborne warning and control system for the Ocean Long Range Strategic Strike Group. Captain Carl, they're on our side. And those two pilots we've heard about must be here too. Okay, I hope you're right. Longcaster. Yeah, I really like the music though. It's a state of civil war. The Erosian army is fighting itself. Yeah, but There's basically no a lot of this. Lock them, it's evil. Shoot them. Process be faster if you get a close up well centered image. Meanwhile, we just run if they shoot us, right? Affirmative. Always identify your target before you fire. Actually gonna eat a sandwich later tonight. Kinda fear you. You gotta be evil. Oh you're not. Are you either? Entering the Anchorhead Bay area. Buildings will block your line of sight. Make sure to keep track of your objective. How this war ends depends on this mission. I'm counting on you. Understood. Uh, I think it's forces. This is AWACS from the LRSSG. Our intro has been updated. Strider Squadron, identify the end of the route. Three of the ones on the radio. We don't know our location. Give us orders. We have no orders, but we do have ID data. Check your TAC terminal. It's a fusion. They are responding aggressively. General. They're conservatives, they'll listen to us. The negotiation was successful, Caster. They've opened up a path for us. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, lots of waiting in this as well, right? Waiting for stuff to happen. Good. You're evil. Says. We're almost to plan thing number seven. If we can make it through, we'll be in arm's reach of the rendezvous at Gruner Park. Captain Carl, do you have the means to record this conversation? I wish to explain to you the situation inside a room. Oh yeah, it's gonna break the I'm news. Sure the boys listening upstairs will record it. The open declaration of war, expanding the front lines, was all the work of some young Erosian officers. They were referred to as the radicals. There was an unseen force guiding them. It was technology they borrowed from the Belkins. But they actually went to Again. the performance of the attack drones exceeded their wildest dreams. And they were incredibly clean, which got public opinion and the opportunists within the military on their side. They even manipulated the princess. The Belkin technology advanced UAV research within the Russian flight test by at least 10 years. They used the flight data from a former ace pilot to create drone AI, but to us it's no different than magic or alchemy. Airplanes are meant to be flown by human beings. For those of you listening in, am I wrong? We're heading towards Gruner Park. Rendezvous points at the helipad on the Yeah, dude, broken again. I hope it's the last time, though. Really gotta drop this. Moving on. The series. An unknown is blocking our scheduled route. No response. Got a pack of people. What do I do? Irving's going to hold this quick target. Trigger! Missile incoming! Vehicle confirmed destroyed. That's not gonna work, is it? Bum bum. Bum bum. Strato 1, target acquired. Fire on that vehicle. Firing. Firing. The VIP is taking fire. His vehicle stopped. Try to okay. help us before we get shot. It's not like this is a tank or anything. I don't know if I should help you right now or should just. I'll just blow up everything. Bridge. There'll be nowhere to hide. 
Okay, I'll help you out. Bam! That felt good. Friendlies as well? Good. I almost shot you. At this point, I've had enough with the mission. But I guess the mission is also done too. Finally meet in the skies.
need to remind you, but do not attack the civilian liaison. Okay. Me. Oh. Wait. Unknown's attacking the girl's plane. Alma, hold on tight. Broadcaster, permission to engage. Negative. What? They could be Ocean fighters. ID them ASAP. Shit. That's all we can do. Okay. ID complete. They're Ocean fighters. What the hell is going on? Can I start shooting? About these. Good work. All hostile aircraft eliminated. The liaison is safe. Wait. Oh. The escort fighter is. The drive. They're missing the drive. What the hell? You gotta be kidding me. Liaison escort has a radar lock. They're targeting you guys. What the hell? We were just helping them. <laughs> Erosion aircraft. This is AWACS Longcaster. Do not engage the liaison. Break off now. Can you hear me on this channel, OC craft? Those escort aircraft are drones. They are currently being operated autonomously. They are not being controlled by anyone. They are flying on their own volition. What? Damn. In that case, we have no choice but to shoot the aircraft down. Unfortunately, yes. Good. We could. Weapons free. You are clear to attack the escort. Welcome. Understood. Welcome. Yeah, see they have a little red light on the cockpit. Oh yeah, these guys are doing some sort of ritual over here. Try to summon Mobius 1 to come. Eric. It's his son, by the way. From Ace Combat 3. Nice. General's helicopter is flying safely outside Anchorhead Bay. All aircraft, RTB, mission complete. Bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Mean. The tail of that plane. 
Yeah. The thin line. Oh yeah, I love this. is the briefing team. It's my favorite. To to the, the, the entire Ace Cyclops Combat. has scrambled after being on standby. We'll head up too once our planes are ready. Oh, and Labarth is dead. Shit. Apparently, he was shot down by another Ocean aircraft after he left the area of operations. Um, um, I mean, I know it was chaos, but still. At any rate, the sealed order operation has come to a close. We have no idea about a plan for going forward. All we can do for now is watch our own backs. What's up with the commander? He's staying in his room. He's still alive, since we can hear him cry. Heh <laughs> heh. this music right now? God damn, dude. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, okay. On to the next one.